Hey everybody, it's me, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome to Friday's Daily Angel Guidance Message. If you saw my earlier uh, post, I was outside shoveling because we have a total winter wonderland here. It uh, started yesterday, we've had quite a bit of snow already. So yes, shoveling was required. It is just crazy out there. It is sn snowing, it is blowing. It's minus, I think 23 with the wind chill. So yeah, it's been a busy morning. Got my workout in, then came home and had another workout by shoveling the driveway. So because we're still with the with this cold weather and snow, I'm still dreaming of a beach. We're gonna continue to work with the mermaids and dolphins deck today. And this message is great. Um, well, aren't they all, right? But <laughs> uh, what I love about this is how sometimes we get the little you know tap on the shoulder, little reminders here and there about, mm, are you doing this? Check in over here. And what I find is a lot of people want to have abundance, you know, and that doesn't just mean money, right? It could be an abundance of health, an abundance of love, an abundance of happiness, whatever it is, but they're accidentally cutting themselves off from it because they are not open to receiving it. So today's message is a reminder about that. Let yourself receive. Right? We we often say, oh yeah, you know, if, if somebody came to my door right now and gave me a bag of money, that'd be great. But in reality, if that happened, you would probably be like, wait a second, there's a catch here, right? Something's not right. And just that hesitation shows that you aren't as open to receiving as you think, right? And think of all the ways that receiving happens, right? Maybe somebody, you know, somebody could knock on my door right now and say, hey, I'll shovel your driveway. Hi, Sharon, thanks for being here, awesome. Um, you know, somebody could say, hey, do you want me to shovel your driveway? And I would say, yes, please, thank you very much, <laughs> right? Um, but sometimes we're like, oh no, it's okay, I can do it, you know, because then we feel like if we accept help from other people, then we're going to owe them something back in return, and it's just more of a bother, right, than anything. Or, you know, somebody might want to gift you with an item that they no longer need. They're like, oh, you know what, I don't need this anymore, but do you need it? And, and if you do, genuinely accept it you know sometimes you might be out for lunch or coffee with a girlfriend and maybe she wants to pay for it and then you're fighting her for the check right and that's again a way that you are showing the universe you're not necessarily open to receiving or even something as simple as receiving a compliment right how many times do we deflect right we're like oh oh this old thing like oh you know right instead of just saying oh thanks you know if somebody says oh you look really nice today so you know, think, start thinking about all the ways that you can let yourself receive and accept that, be open to it so that you're not putting the, I call it the energetic do not disturb sign on your door, right? It's like the universe is waiting, it's ready to knock on your door with all this awesomeness and you're like, nah, right? So you don't wanna do that. It says right on here, allow others to give you loving care without guilt or apologies. That's the other thing, we get into this whole guilt thing you know, and, and feeling like we, you know, if we if we accept help, then we have to apologize. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm such an infringement, or, you know, that you had to go to your way, or whatever, especially if, you know, we are unwell, um, you know, people want to extend some loving care to us, we're, we're so bad at accepting that. We always are shutting it down. Hi again, Mandy. <laughs> Did you like my snowy landscape? My video outside, uh, the shoveling, that was, it's crazy, ugh. And it's only, what is this, November 3rd? And we're in this for now how many more months? I mean, come on. Well, Calgary's so up and down. We could have 20 degrees next week. You just, it's ridiculous like that. But anyways, I digress. Um, back to the message at hand. Today, I want you to be open and aware of how you could be shutting yourself down from receiving, right? Um, and making sure that you stay open to that and working maybe with an affirmation, if you like affirmations, and if you truly feel something. Again, don't rhyme off. A list of all these affirmations like a robot but you have no connection with those words right but if you really mean it and it evokes an emotion in you then please use it because then they are very very powerful so you might say something like I open my arms wide to receiving all the good that is coming to me now right you could say it but use your own words right words that make sense for you um, don't just say it because I said so it has to really feel you know feel right to you um, yeah, Mandy's like, I'm not looking forward to that kind of weather here. Yeah, I don't blame you. Although you guys don't get the cold like we do. Like it's not that bitter minus 20s to minus 35. Like that's just ridiculous. 
Snow is not bad. I can deal with snow, but it's when it's that super duper bone chilling cold that just rips right through you. Mm, no thanks. That's when I'm thinking of this ocean and the beach and really dreaming of that. Um, so I hope that makes sense to you guys and uh, practice that today, but practice that going forward, right? Not just today, like really be mindful of that because again, the universe can't bring you something if you aren't open to receiving it. So think about that, right? They, oh, they're wanting me to share one more thing. So for all the people who jumped off early, you're missing this, but um, think about your wallet, okay? Our wallet, how many of you have a totally disaster wallet? You know, it's full of crumpled up receipts, there's all kinds of junk in there, right? Maybe your, your money is actually not placed nicely, it's all crumply or whatever, right? That's, again, uh, kind of a signal of like how you treat that money is, um, you know, like you're shutting down to receiving more because if your wallet is all full or it's too, you know, too packed with stuff, there's not space for your money. Right, so your wallet should be pristine. You should only have the essentials in there. Go through it, get rid of receipts, get rid of old, you know, whatever loyalty cards or things that have expired and things like that that you don't use and make sure you put your money in there. It's nicely flat, even in order of denomination. I know that's getting a little, you know, anal retentive, whatever, but treat your money with respect and it's going to respond to that, right? Money is energy, so like attracts like, remember that all the time. So if you have a messy wallet, that's a homework assignment for you guys today. Oh, Mandy, yeah, if you if you have a messy wallet, you'll wanna get back um, in there and clean that out so that you can be more accepting of that money, right? And um, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to share that as well. All right, guys, I'm off to shower because I'm like totally gross after that workout and shoveling. So have a fabulous day, a fabulous weekend. I'm back Monday through Thursday next week, and then I'm away. I'm gonna be off for a week, I'm traveling. I'm going to Washington DC, I'm going to New York City. Uh, if you know anybody in those areas who may want to have an angel reading, maybe that's you, while I'm in those areas, uh, please reach out and let me know. And um, yeah, good job, eh, Mandy, uh, cleaning it today, good. Good, good, good. And just notice, you know, do you feel anything? Does it feel lighter? Does it feel airier? You know, when you do a spring clean, how your house just feels good, right? It's like you allow the new fresh vibe in there and it's the same thing with cleaning out your wallet. So good job. All right, guys, we'll see you next Monday. Have a fabulous weekend and make sure you stay open to receiving. Talk to you soon.